Okay, so you're on. Okay, so this is the great Metroplex of Chinook, Kansas. Uh, I was actually born and raised at Chinook Hospital. Population 9,000. Population 9,000. Um, the actual uh, town of Chinook was uh, built around the railroad tracks and they had a lot of migrant workers uh, that came in from Mexico to build the railroads. Well, they started making like a little convenience store and they just built out around the train stops. We have one of the actual biggest Mexican fiestas um, in the Southeast Kansas area and it's one of the, only one, the places, oldest. One of the oldest Mexican fiestas we have. 16th of September. Uh, I believe the, the second second weekend of September. Usually it falls between 14th, 15th, 16th, around there. A um, lot of fun. Um, it's, and it's uh, people can go there and drink and not get in trouble. <laughs> Public <laughs> intoxication is a huge deal. Uh, but yeah, this is, uh, it used to be a, a lot better conditions. Seems like they kind of got dilapidated if you look over these old buildings. Historical buildings. Yeah, that one's actually a real beautiful building. I don't think they use it to the potential that it should be used to, but, you know, I guess you got to take what you can get. And um, over there we have the historical uh, Tioga. Tioga. Hotel. Yep, a lot of people come and stay when they do come in town at that Tioga Hotel. I used to live there at once. It was outrageous. The prices are outrageous, but at least for for uh, town folk in Chinu. Um, not not a lot to do in Chinu. We have a we have a Walmart, a super center. Uh, we have our jujitsu. Uh, Henson's Combat Jiu Jitsu at the Church of Pain. Um, we've got an Opie. has got a few good places to eat. Um, all, all you can eat, Opie's. All you can eat, Opie's. Buffet. Uh, Rabbi David Tice loves Opie's. And then down the street, we got the grain bin for breakfast. Yeah. All breakfast all day long. We do, we do go have a right there in the midst, in the middle of that. That's Roxy 4. Uh, we do. I do take the my new kids. theater, relatively new theater. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's connected with Sterling Six. Um, took my boys to go watch X Men Apocalypse the other day. <laughs> um, usually, a lot of people do is they drag Maine. Uh, that's kind of what we do. In Chinook, is people people run. We uh, get our nice cars out. We go up and down Main Street. That's one thing the high school kids like to do. That. We got a few nice parks. And you also have a community college here. We have a community college. Um, a lot of kids get recruited down here and then they They have a wrestling team. We have a really good, we have a- High school and college. Uh, they do track down here, soccer. Basketball's big. Basketball's big, we got a wrestling club. Um, so we do have stuff to do. Um, the, my boys are involved in wrestling and softball we got softball down here um, we're, we're pretty big in athletics you know for being a small town um, we have a couple private schools we have a saint we have a catholic school and we have a christian academy and we also have a public school um, but supposedly the the uh, catholic school has got the best criteria and then it goes Chanute uh, Christian Academy, and then you know the regular uh, uh, public schools. Uh, but we got my boys in the Saint and the Saint Pat's in the Catholic school, and it, I'll tell you what, it's done. They've done really well. Um, actually, one's in Head Start. Um, we do have uh, town's got a little bit of a, of a drug problem. Some people get strung out on the methamphetamines. Um, other than that, you know, it's this uh, it's kind of my hometown. Uh, humble beginnings. You know what they say about humble beginnings. So, uh, in the midst, the, the railroad tracks over there. That's kind of basically runs right through town. Yeah. That's basically where the 
Um, oh, I got a good one I can show you. I can walk down and we can do the uh, uh, watchtower. Um, his grandfather, um, he was the Chinook's first watchman, and he guarded the town with a baton. And, uh, okay, start that, start that again now. Um, right down here where we're going, my stepdad, uh, Jerry Bowman, his, I believe it was his, either his father or his grandfather was actually Chanute's first watchman. And he watched the whole city of Chanute and he guarded it with a baton and a German shepherd. And uh, I thought that was a pretty cool story. Um, but yeah, he was the first uh, watchman of Chanute, guarded the whole town with one billy club and a German shepherd. So, uh, Here's the famous Tioga Hotel, very historic in Chinook, Kansas. Well, that's a historical building there, too. Oh, yeah. Yeah, the old buildings down here on Main Street. Really old. Oh, okay, we can cross. I guess my, uh, my dad was saying that these two buildings used to actually join together and one of them, there's that space where that gate is. I guess some person threw like an M80 and caused a huge fire oh. and burnt that spot down. And so they just left it the way it was. They didn't want to rebuild the building. Uh, I don't know how true that is, but that's what my father told me. Um, that's what playmakers, It's the general appliance store, one of them. Every building here is historical. Oh yeah, it's the old old building. That's your skill. There's a tribute to uh, Chanute who had a glider at the right